welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. I hope that you are well. Today I am going to be doing my January wrap up. I have managed to read 12 books in the month of January, which I am actually quite shocked about. But there is a lot of uh, manga and there's a graphic novel, there's a poetry as well, so some easier reads and then some fantasy <laughs> basically. So the first lot of books that I read in the month of January was The Four Books in the Millennium Rule by Trudy Canavan. I I did enjoy these but they're not my favourite of Trudy's Canavan's works. Um, so the first book is um, A Thief's Magic. The second one is Angel of Storms. The third one is Successor's Promise. And the fourth one was Maker's Curse. So I did generally like the series. My favourite of Trudy Canavan's is the Black Magician trilogy. I loved that. The last book in that did me in. And I would highly recommend it. This one, it wasn't bad by any means. I did enjoy reading it, but it's not... It's not like a top one, it's like a three star throughout. So to not give out spoilers, I am just going to give you the general um, synopsis of the first one. So the first, well, throughout the series, there's two protagonists. There's one Tyan, there's one Rial. Tyan is a archaeology student who, upon exploring, finds a book called Vela, who was once a human and was created by the most powerful sorcerer of that time. So since she's been made... Vela has been collecting knowledge from everybody that touches her and knows a vital clue into what is destroying, how to fix what is destroying Tyan's world. World. How to fix Tyan's world. Then the second protagonist is Rial, and she lives in a world that's ruled by priests. And to do magic in her world is said to be stealing from angels. But she knows she's got a natural talent for magic and that goes from there i don't really want to do any spoilers so yeah that's generally generally it yeah and like i say it's very enjoyable just not as i could put it down and leave it not as in not pick it back up but i could just put it down and i won't be overthinking of like oh what's happening next and stuff you get what i mean so definitely like a three star read which is still good, still good. So the next book I read in the month of January was Flux by Oriane Carlotto. I really enjoyed this. So this this collection of poetry and prose is from the different stages of heartbreak. It's very, very good. I highly recommend. Flew through it. And I loved the illustrations throughout as well. I try and I just try not to get note too rude, but yeah, very good. Sixth book of the month is Spare by Prince Harry. This one I was quite poorly, so I was switching between trying to hold this bad boy and listening to it through Audible because I really was struggling with any sort of strength at the time of reading this. I think over time it will be one that I will eventually unhaul, um, not because anything against Harry and Meghan or anything, just because eventually the knowledge will be irrelevant and there's nothing that I learnt from it that I will relearn. Spare by Prince Harry, it's in the news. So the seventh book I picked up in January was Saga Volume 10 and has this been long awaited? So in this series it's a Romeo, Romeo and Juliet retelling really. It's about two people that's from different worlds, opposing different worlds, that, that are in a war. They get together, they have a child and they are being hunted by both of their worlds. And it goes on from there. It's um, quite explicit, so if you're not the right age, don't read it. <laughs> but I love this, and there was such a big gap between volumes 9 and 10 
that this was so overdue. I waited for a time where I was feeling like a bit down in the dumps to read this because I know I, how much I love this series. So, and it was worth the wait. Really enjoyed it. Book eight of January was The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I enjoyed this. Again, it's a bit like the ones from Trudy Canavan where it was like a three star read. I was able to put it down without immediately wanting to pick it back up. I did like the book in a book trope. I think it's because I went into it knowing that loads of people said it was a lot like 10,000 Doors of January. And I know I keep saying that, but I don't think it was as good. It didn't keep me as gripped as 10,000 Doors of January. I liked it. Not an immediate favourite of mine, but I did like it. And then, last but not least, the last four books of the month of January that I read. Kaijo number eight. I loved this manga series. I loved it. I cannot wait for volume five to come. It needs to hurry up because I want to read it immediately, if not sooner. As if I could read it any sooner, but I would if I could. So in Kaijo number eight, we are following a man called Kafka and he has been wanting to join the armed forces for a long time to help fight against the Kaijo. But once he has started enlisting, enrolling and actually going through stages to join the armed forces, he has started to begin changing himself. And he now wonders how he can fight the kaijo when he's becoming one volume one volume two volume three sorry about the light and volume four and i'm so so glad that i unwrapped these the last time i unwrapped a, a book off my cart because now I cannot wait for volume five to come. So yeah, that is my 12 books that I read in January. I hope you had a good reading month too. Please leave a comment down below what you read, how you liked them, how many stars. If you recommend any books to me, please do. I am very easy to persuade of reading books, any books. And I hope you are all well. Please stay safe, please stay well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Today I am going to be doing my favorite. I'm in love with Trudy Gana. So the first. And I want it to come immediately. Right now. Stop. Oh yeah. Wait a bit. No, don't go there. Don't go there. Cut. Sign sealed, delivered on yours. I don't know why the postman couldn't. That what? Yeah, I need to stop. No, nope, just cut it. Stop filming. Let me know down below what you read. If you've read anything that I have read, and you can do a better review on it, please leave it down below. <laughs> don't leave that in. Ah.